New details at noon about the next steps in the healing process for Tree of Life Synagogue. They've chosen an architect who has a lot of experience in building from trauma to memorialize the 11 people who were killed there. Chris Hoffman is live in Squirrel Hill with plans for the synagogue. Chris. Christine, the Board of Trustees announced that architect they'll be helping to rebuild and renovate parts of the synagogue. The goal here is to transform this site from a place of tragedy and hate into one of hope, remembrance and education. Daniel Liebskind is the lead architect on the project. His parents survived the Holocaust and he says this project must address the persistence of anti-Semitism. Liebskind has designed the World Trade Center master plan and the Jewish Museum in Berlin. The plan is to create space for worship, reflection on that tragic day, classrooms, and a home for programs with the Holocaust Center of Pittsburgh. The synagogue will partner with the Holocaust Center to deal with the issues of hate and bigotry. We want to help educate people and bridge divides between people, not only with uh, religion, but with race and other um, other issues of bigotry and discrimination. That's what we want to do here at the corner because we have this opportunity now to help help deal with these many, many problems. The sanctuary, which is in this part of the synagogue, will be renovated. Other parts, they will be demolished. Again, uh, at this point, there is no timetable on how long this will be taking, but we will continue to follow this process and bring you the latest both on air and online. Live in Squirrel Hill this afternoon, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News. Thank you, Chris.